Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through the next part of episode 3 of Life is Strange 2. It's going to be great, but fair warning, this episode does get a little bit more mature than some of the previous episodes of Life is Strange 2. It's caught me by surprise a couple times, but it's okay. I'm an adult and I can handle it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button before we begin as I give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Daniel. Daniel, thank you so much for your support on Patreon. It means the world to me that SRG is able to grow and put out more videos and faster videos. And I have all of the patrons to thank for that as well as all of the amazing community events that we've been able to hold. We recently held a SRG Summer Games Biathlon where we played Final Fantasy XIV and some Overwatch games all together in a relay style and there were prizes for the winners. It was just really, really a fun time. So check the Patreon to see how to get access to these community events. It's all gonna be organized through the Discord, which is the first reward available on Patreon. And the link for that is in the description below if you'd like to take a look. And I also made sure to put it in a card for you to make it easy for you mobile users. Thank you again to Daniel for your contribution on Patreon. And now everyone, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. Yes, so that's a good idea. The recap is that we are now officially in February, we are three months after the last, the end of the last episode, and we, we went through Christmas and did our best, but we were sad, and we jumped on a train, and now we're in Humboldt County, and we work on a weed farm. And we've saved up almost enough money to get to Mexico, which is our, which is our goal. So that's where we're at. Okay, so we've already looked at all of these items, so we don't need to look at them again. <clears throat> this is Finn's tent. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. It feels weird to look inside Finn's tent, but, you know, here we are. Gonna do it anyway. Glad to see somebody <clears throat> has Finn's back. Uh, Finn, thanks for the postcard. It was great to hear from you again. I love getting to hear about your travels, and to be honest, I'm living vicariously through them. I always wanted to see more of the country, or even the world, but I took a different path, as you found out. I know we talked about this before, but after 20 years as a PO, I've seen too many kids tossed in and out of the system. PO is short for parole officer. For those of you who are unfamiliar with that system, basically when you get in trouble and you go to jail, um, you can be let out early on good behavior and you are given, you are assigned a parole officer to kind of watch out for your good behavior and it's your responsibility to check in with them every so often. Um, we don't care about where they're going after they've served time, but that's what we should care about the most. We didn't get along at our first meeting as I'm sure you remember, still sorry about that but I knew I had to prove I was willing to help you before you would trust me. I wasn't sure that would happen. Don't laugh, but I love being proved wrong and you did it. You showed me that on the other side of your pain and anger, you wanted to learn and help others who feel alone in the world without friends or support. I'm glad to see you found a group that you can trust and travel with. I, will wor I still worry about the trains and everything else, but you know that. I do hope you find a place to settle into and call your home. I know you will. Things are a little tougher in the world than when I was your age, but every generation has to go through its own BS trials. I'm proud you're willing to practice what you preach. I hope this letter finds you well, and I can't wait to read about your next adventure. So don't make this old SOB wait too long. I need the inspiration, your friend Kareem. See, this is really nice also because there's no... I, I have never known anybody who like is friends with and keeps in touch with and thanks their parole officer. So this is a good example of someone who works within the system and keeps in mind that their real job is to help people succeed. Even though far too often parole officers are put in an impossible situation of keeping people on track who do not want to be on track and um, who can't, who don't have the support that they need and parole officers don't have the support to give. And so, so often the relationship is, you know, parole officer is like, 
a parent trying to control its unruly, you know, rebellious teenager. And that relationship is, is more often than not toxic as heck. And this is an example of one that isn't. And I like that. I like that being shown. <sighs> Can't tag a train without paint. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. His map is like his Bible. Weird to see him younger. Oh, cute. Him looks so innocent. Him and his buddies. Glad somebody's getting some action. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. A connoisseur. He's got to have his freshly ground marijuana. Always bought him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. So he's well read. He enjoys reading. Lord of the Flies. Seems apropos. Some beer, some chip crisps. Good stuff. Alright, so the next tent we have here is Cassidy's tent. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. Gotta have backup signs. <laughs> we'll eat for food. Yeah, that's a little self-explanatory. Jeez. <clears throat> She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Yeah, the California redwoods are pretty special. Pet, the dog. Never seen a dog so chill. Doesn't if care there about is anything. the ability to pet in the game, you must. Tis the rules. Yeah, like you don't get pet enough around here. Good doggo. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. Don't know what's inside. Like that movie. The sun has saved us. Ah, no more fog. It's nice to sit here together at night. Like we're a part of something. <gasps> Man, crushing hard today. <laughs> Yeah, Anders smoked too much again. I'll get him up before Big Joe gets here. Good. I want you to start the day with that asshole yelling. Observe. I've looked enough. <clears throat> and to draw now. And draw. And draw. And draw. And observe. Cool. And draw. I think I'm ready to draw this. And draw. And Drawing draw. start. And hmm. observe. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. And draw. And draw. And draw. Beautiful. Any more details? Ah, oh, yes. More details about the brush and the tents. Observe. Okay, got it. And draw, and draw, and draw, and draw. Wow, I am an artist. Look at me. I did that with my wild waving of my mouse. Nailed it. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at this graffiti here. Bonjour! Tree. Must. Tess? Have coffee. Tristess? Tresses? I'm not really sure what that's about. Is there like a map here? Thank you. 
feel like I'm getting turned around. Penny's tent. Okay, let's learn about Penny. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. Uh, good, because I wasn't sure He's either, but I didn't want to say anything. Hannah's tent. Hannah's so private about her life. That looks like sushi Plus, takeout. My guts. Gross. You don't just leave sushi takeout just out and about in the woods. First of all, you don't leave food out and about in the woods because bears. Like, I know they have a dog, but, like, you don't want to just invite trouble. You don't want to be like, Funny hey, trouble, come be my town. friend. Sit at my fire. Wreck my life. Free. You don't do that. These guys have top gear. That's top Wish gear? I do. That's like a very shim shammied double tent. Shoot, what's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. So this very much has like a commune feeling of like everybody pitches in on a different day. I, I could send her a cool gift. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. Where is she? Oh, uh, she's with my parents, of course. I, where else would a nine-year-old live? Oh, shoot, I mean... I didn't mean Daniel. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. Yeah. Just ask Daniel. He's nine going on 14. He's so tired of me right now. Ah, kids. Just ignore him and he'll be all over you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Hearts and unicorns. Thinking of you or what is she into? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games, uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. That was a pun. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean. Listen. Thanks again. I'm going to be honest. Alexander is a weird name for a chicken. Okay? I said it. Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. I Just mean, like him. I don't know if that's that tidy and neat, but okay. Okay, Critter, what are you doing out during the day? You're supposed to only come out at night. This is bucket four. I don't know if I want to know. We're so lucky these guys took us in. Power Man. generator. I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold. But fucking awesome. <gasps> you moved, and now I'll pet you over here. Are you just gonna move every time I pet you? I'm just gonna pet you all over this place. Weird, we didn't see any bears with all that trash lying around. That's what I'm saying. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grass, I'm gonna sit your ass down. Most of them aren't too fancy hippie food. I'm sorry. Fast food junk. 
bread, oatmeal, and orange juice is weird hippie food. I don't know about that, Sean. Around here. Everything goes into the plantations. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. Okay. Well, if you say so. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Clean bucket, dishes, Yay. grocery shopping, restock, water tanks, fuel generator, gen generator. Just do your fucking part. Well then, can we have our coffee first? What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narcs, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Oh, no. Look up. You... Saw them? When? How? Because vision and shine? They watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So... Then... Where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Kush get. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. I don't really know what to say. I, I feel like choosing dialogue options is so hard in this game because I don't know what... It's so non sequitur what they choose to present to me. Like, what am I supposed to say? Can't screw workers? Like, they can't f fire us? Like, they have to treat us well or they won't have anyone to do the job? Is that what they're trying to say? Well, at least they can't just screw over workers. Like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear you. Oh. That um, was so confusing. Did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. So he's very paranoid. But the thing about paranoid people is they're often very smart. And so a lot of what they're saying has because a little we, element of truth in it. Where from again? Um, Maybe. And they're just, it's so we easy to just Mexico. dismiss them because, oh, well, uh, they're paranoid. But a lot of the time, really people who are paranoid are just very you smart. Make some more coffee, right? <laughs> Sometimes oh, they're just crazy, but more often, yeah. pet. Years and huh? a to pay for the trip. Can't pet you. That shit was worth it. Oh yeah, good times. A skull? What kind of skull? Lots of dead birds around the camp. A bird skull? Well, we're gonna pick pet that up. souvenir. For a weird place. Yeah, I feel like Sean's into it. True. Brianna would not be picking up a dead bird skull, especially because birds are extremely dirty creatures. But I feel like Sean's into it, so. Listen, one of the tasks was to clean the bucket, but we, we're not currently getting the option to clean the bucket, so. I think what we have to do is just head on down to the lake. Get our dead skull suit. No, Hot Dog Man wins. Keep Hot Dog Man. At all costs. 
Right, so I'm pretty sure we've looked at most so things. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a documentary about the missing persons phenomenon in Humboldt County. Or nearby. Living large and humble. Oh, that's horrible! Oh, it's horrible! Oh! This, I would not live this life. We shower like once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? All right, well, have we pretty much seen all there is to see? Now, my one query is what what does this lead to? We were because... headed to the lake. Better check on Daniel. Great. All right. Well, that makes me feel better. To the lake. To the lake. We're on our way. To the lake. He looks like he's kind of marching, doesn't he? I don't know. He's kind of like half walking, half marching. What the fuck? Man, you're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> oh, that's a shit. skill we want a nine-year-old to know. What's up, guys? Morning target practice. Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bull-sized dude. Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. <laughs> How'd you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? So I guess that I was going to turn into a know, fight no matter I'm what. I'm him like a hawk. Even though I was trying to compliment Seriously, him. Much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'll bad at this, aren't I? Oh no. Hey, let me aim it. Try and stabilize your aim. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean. Hold your right arm, yeah. more like this. Better alignment, better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? I just want you to know that the aim mechanic in the game is like And I'm like, it has nothing to do with me actually aiming anything. Come on, sweetie, one more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. Embrace my zen. I see how it is. Embrace the zen. I hate this. Let's show the kid what's what. Be quiet, I'm focusing. Come on, Sean. Show us your talents. Show you my talent. Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Missed. See? Daniel I cheated will... again! Sorry, Ooh. Sean. You're not an idiot. I was gonna make it's still that! Cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Ooh. It literally After is your fault. Out, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Ah, uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. 
Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He wouldn't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good, but you don't have control over your powers yet. Y yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's um do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos, remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. It's so hard. It's like this game just wants me to argue with this little kid. There's no winning. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh oh. Big Joe. What? What? This is a big decision? Uh, the watch is it, just. What? What does this have to do with anything? If I ask about the watch, I have no idea how Daniel's gonna take that. If I say nothing, I have no idea what I missed. What? Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh, no. Nah. I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're I cool. don't get it. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Wish we could check on Chris. Just see if he's okay. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. He did technically ask you to teachers. stop calling him Inano, and I feel like you dark. should. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot.
camp hasn't killed us, but legalization will. Small farms have to stay in illegality. Interesting take. Look at this ambiance. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? It's Cassidy. Sure. Sean has a crush on her. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Because my little brother Just hates me thinking. for no reason. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Good old Big Joe. like he is not the camp favorite. I'll just put it that way. Hey little man. So at this point you know, I'm like I whatever dude eyes. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I cut it. Down. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh shit. Ooh, too much monkey. sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was. Two peas in a pod. These ones. I'll show you the battle scar. Oh, so high last night. Hey, Sean Jellis. Cool. He is. No way. You, you be He's a big boy now. Got to get out okay. of his way. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I don't know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the knife master on here? Yes. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that evening. So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> With us misfits. Oh, Man, good. Just hope I won't turn this. into a dirty hippie Why if I hang around to too long. To you better stop talking to me, then. Be I'm the most contagious. Please, <laughs> don't hurt Too late. Dropped. Guess I'll take a chance. Hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there! I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. <laughs> they come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe, Bigfoot. Whoa. <laughs> You might be on to something. They both smell. Stinky? Big Joe. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> oh no, Daniel. <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back oh. there. Jacob the doesn't want to be mean. <laughs> He's the good boy. I also feel like Daniel, as a kid, like, doesn't really know how to read a room yet. 
So he he's going to be like, oh, let's make fun of Joe behind his back, but not realize you can't make fun of him in front of him. I feel like that's going to get us in trouble. Shit, I'm so tired. Yeah, me too. Let's try to go to bed early tonight, okay? Yes, please. And no wheat. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching <gasps> or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, I don't like this. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit-talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. I don't know. Hey, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro. That guy would have beat you down. Okay, well, screw me for trying then, right? Right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Forget it. It's fine. Why, why bother? It's nice. It's real nice. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way right. Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <sighs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Uh. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? I don't like this. I don't Hold like up. it one bit. I don't like that either. I don't like it. Oh no. Talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look. I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... do you get to see her? Not often. But she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. 
Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no place for kids hey. is kind of an understatement. You okay. Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. Then why are you drilling us? What? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Merrill's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. But I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. See? Just pick a bud and get to it. This is what I hate. Is that they're always... He keeps trying to hold the kid to a higher accountability than the teenagers and adults there. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. Kids can't be held to higher standards and it's not their fault. They literally are incapable yeah. of some things. Look at all these butts. Oh, this is nothing. Like staying quiet. Last spring we were trimming about two or three and times a day. And, whoa. Um, impulse That's control. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours Sitting still, months. working yeah, long hours. They just can't do it like grown-ups can. <laughs> and expecting oh, them to is a recipe for disaster, lucky. so... Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. What really should be happening is they should just get out of this situation. Yeah. And it's making me nervous that they're reception? staying into it because it's Big setting girl? Daniel this up to fail. Cell killer. Oh, of course. <sighs> oh, I guess I can get better at it. I should clean my scissors. They're a oh, mess. I'm getting messier at it. I see. Got it. This is so slow. Ouch. Oh, and boring. Shit. Ooh, you okay, sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just <sighs> slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, Sean. <clears throat> He hates it. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Would you, though? Exactly. We don't have any homework. Or teachers. 
Sure, just Marilyn Big Joe. Whatever. Ugh, quiet! Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess, yes. <laughs> but worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, Am I the slowest we'll at see. this? Everybody <clears throat> else has full buckets by now. Oh no! I'm bad at this. Am I about to get booted? I probably have to do 10, I don't know. Quick, quickly. Hey. So boring though, I'm already bored. <clears throat> but for real okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere, Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must What's be this? so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Calm down. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Dream big. What's I'd happened? like to see the pyramids. Or the top just of picked Mount up Fuji. a pen Sean as a collectible <laughs> global traveler. What? Yeah. Stalking Humboldt. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. No cool, I mean. let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Oh, this is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. I feel like the big Joe guy is the one on that's it? like, we got shit to do here. Oh, bitch, bitch, whoa, bitch, it's all you whoa. ever do. And Damn. then like, that's all he ever does. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please, I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh, don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, oh, my arm hurts, wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <laughs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some Going water. too fast. Are you gonna squat out here forever? Take your time, Build dude. Build a house. What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. How's it going? Voted? They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go. Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get- Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, She's so Mom. mean. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. My problem, Jason. You're clueless. You know I feel like she's good. looking for a fight. Yeah. She's just angry and wants sure. to fight. Okay, well, Fuck I did at least 10, shit. so I'm all right. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. Do you? It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? I feel like they should at least play some music. That would probably boost productivity. See, what these, you know, employers don't understand is that when your employees are at least not really super miserable with basic things, like comfier chairs and being nice and playing music, then they do better work. Oh my gosh, I bet your hand would be sore after all that, Cheer though. Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, 
is not as bad as you think. Other farms in the areas just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment, when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. That is a problem, though. For all that weed is romanticized, it has been shown that underage people smoking marijuana is, I believe, the exact study, but smoking it does lead to short-term memory loss problems. So it's not a miracle drug. It's still a drug with consequences. Should be noted, because Grandma Bree can't help but say that. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. He really you gotta is. Be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? I swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. And my brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we typical. Got busted. I feel like that's Fucking not that typical. Wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That. Sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. Checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. It's weird to me that he was well, like, my parents were okay, going to but Mexico they were not. Is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. I it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa hey. Fe because it was hell. No money. Hola. Nobody. Que hay esta señor? Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, 
What? No comprendo. That, is- that would be me. <laughs> Don't laugh. I almost killed Still that Still learning, But I professor. came back humble because of Finn. <laughs> I had this sweet At least you're trying. Him. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is hard. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Let me smack you on the calf there. Some good old goodbye Seems slap on the calf. To be a farmer. Are we gonna do some thinking and drawing? We are. I'm berserk. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. And draw. Yeah, that's a good sketch I like there. I how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Nailed it. But I think I'm gonna hmm. observe a little bit more. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool. Ah, yes. Further I details. I draw this. I better just... Sketch it out a little bit. Nailed it. Boom! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <laughs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Wow. <laughs> I look happy. Like, I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? I couldn't either. Are we gonna flirt? I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helps. A lot. So I'm um, like your muse. Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't He's make so me blush. so awkward. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides... Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you say that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who 
beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't wet. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say spot as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Everything. Because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky next cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. I used to eat those too. You always think it's gonna be there. Stupid stuff like that. But... Things change. Right? Yep. So, keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Awkward transition to end the conversation. You look like you could be alone right now. Um, for the most part, I feel like that exchange does a really good part or does a really good job of explaining yes, how I someone know. like Cassidy water tanks. can be happier they now than she would be in some other life. And how a lot of, you know, I know sometimes I've heard some connotation that, you know, people who live like this, you know, are doing so because they don't have a choice. But I think if you would talk to them, you'd get you'd get stories more like Cassidy's, where they realize that you Damn. know the world that they grew she up into hard. wasn't serving them. It wasn't helping them. The systems in place weren't security. It was like a prison. It wasn't freedom, it was the opposite of that. It was feeling trapped. And so this life that they lead, even though, yeah, they work at a job that sucks, and yeah, their home isn't as nice as it could be, and they don't have some of the amenities and conveniences that they love, they have family, and they have choice. Pennies all over they the place. They chose this. He'll go anywhere. And she feels free in that. And that, I think, makes her critically different than Sean and Daniel. Because Sean and Daniel didn't choose the situation that they're in. And they didn't have bad parents. Whereas Finn and Cassidy did. And so you see the juxtaposition of someone who, some good like today. Cassidy, finds talking with the girls, as joy in every moment. Entertaining. Here, in this life, Whereas Sean and Daniel are always going to be looking to the next thing. They're saving up so that they can go to somewhere else, somewhere safer, because they don't find safety in this. They don't find freedom and comfort in this. And I think it's really interesting how they're bringing together people with different paths, like fundamental life paths, and don't want the crew to get pissed finding the commonality. The I think that's really beautiful. And that's where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved it. It sure was a life of strange, doing what life of strange does best, making you hurt in all your heart. So leave me a comment and let me know where your heart hurts and we can just chat about it together and, and commiserate about it. Anyways, <laughs> that's going to be all for today's video. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too, and of course, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. More beautiful videos coming at you very soon. That's all. I love you all. Bye!